Henry sings. Very good. All right, we got the first drill. Who may sing the first one? All right. All right, so we're going to be working on control today, learning to control your bodies and keep them super still when it's time to be still. Make them move fast when it's time to move fast. So I brought Miss Libby. She's going to be our helper example for you today. So our first drill is just going to be going through our stances. So ready, stance. And she's going to keep her body still no matter what I do. She does not wiggle, not move. She's got to use her brain to keep her body still. Attention. So she comes to an attention stance. Toes together, hands by her side. And she's going to keep that stance nice and still no matter what I do to her. And you're not wiggling at home either. You've got to keep that body nice and still. Next thing, ready? Fighting stance. All right, so she's in her fighting stance. She's got her knees bent. She's got her guard up. And she's going to keep her body nice and still no matter what happens. Ready stance. How about a straddle leg stance? So she's got to bend those knees really big like she's riding on that horse. And she's got to keep that body down there, really work those muscles, keeping it nice and still. Very good. And ready, stance again. So now we're going to do a really move fast challenge. So I'm going to switch from one stance to another stance, and I want to see how quickly you can change. So attention stance. Ready, stance. Fighting stance. Ready, stance. Straddling stance. Ready, stance. Straddling stance. Are your knees bending, or did you get lazy on me? Attention stance. Fighting stance. Ready stance. Are you still? Are you wiggling? Straddling stance. Who's bending the lowest in that stance? Who's got those knees really bent? Who's really focused? And ready stance. Very good. So now Mr. DJ is going to come out. He's going to lead our next drill. All right, for our next drill, we'll be playing something called Sensei Says. So this this game's just like Simon says, but instead of Simon, it'll be Sensei. So if I say ready stance, she says a ready stance. But if I go Charlie stance, I didn't say Sensei says. So she didn't do it, so she has to do two jumping jacks. Sensei says ready stance. Charlie stance. She did not move. Sensei says fighting stance. Since I says attention stance, body stance. Since I says ready stance, stride stance, attention stance. Oh, she did it. Two jumping jacks. See, I control your body and listen very well for this one. Since I says stride stance, ready stance, body stance. Since it says attention stance, since it says fighting stance, since it says ready stance, fighting stance. Good job. All right. All right. So for our next drill, for our next drill is which one? I already forgot. Oh, the freestyle pose. We have the music. Okay, so let's choose the stance. Miss Libby, you get to choose the stance. A straddle leg stance. So we're going to turn some music on. You get that right. Yeah, we're going to turn some music on. And when the music's playing, you can do uh, dance moves, you can do punches and kicks, you can do anything you want to do. But when the music stops, you have to freeze in straddle leg stance with those knees bent and keep your body still. So listen for the music. Very good. So see how she freezes nice and still? She's got those knees bent. Good control. Don't wiggle till the music starts. Oh, there's our straddle leg stance. Wait for the music to start. Oh, there we go again. Who's got 
got their knees bent. One more time. Very good. All right, one more. Last time. Make that really good stance. And there we go. All right. So next, what we're going to want to do is at home, if you don't have a pad or like that, you can just grab a pillow. But you're going to need a pad or something to hit. And so we're going to have your student or Miss Libby here punch in the pad. And I would tell her soft or hard. And that's how she's going to punch it. You ready? You soft, punch it soft and hard. Soft. Hard. That's the control of hard. Soft. And only do what I call. Hard. Soft. Hard. Nice punches. So how are you guys looking at hard? You got your punches going? Hard and soft? Soft. Nice gentle soft punches. And a line body control. Hard. Soft. Ten, nine, hard, eight, seven, six, soft, five, four, three, hard, two, one, and time. Good job. Good job, guys. All right, so our next drill is going to be a stop and go game. So when I say go, you're gonna run in place like Miss Libby. And when I say stop, we're gonna freeze in an attention stance this time. So it'll be toes together, hands by your side, no wiggling and moving. So when I say go, you run in place. When I say stop, you freeze in an attention stance. Toes together, hands by your side, back up nice and straight, and eyes forward. So, ready, go. Stop. Very good. Make sure you're not moving. When I say stop, you have to freeze right away. Go. Come on, I want to see you guys moving faster than Miss Libby. Stop. Attention stance, toes together, eyes forward. Go. Stop. All right, you guys are looking pretty easy, so I'm going to have to make this a little bit harder. So remember, there's only two magic words. What was the name of this game? Stop, stop and go. go. So don't listen to any other words. Go means go. Stop means stop. Don't listen to anything else. Ready? Go. Monkeys. Bananas. Stop. Back up just a little bit. Reaching out of my camera view. Go. Fighting stance. Oh, I'm moving 
fast. Now, go ahead and back down. Stralic stance. Back down. Fighting stance. Back down. Yeah, move fast in this one. Stralic stance. I know y'all can move faster than that. Let's go. Go back down. Fighting stance. There you go. Good job. Back down. Ready stance. Back down. Last one. Fighting stance. Good job, you guys.
talk for a minute. We're going to talk about self-control. So self-control, remember, means controlling your body and controlling your emotions. So these are some examples of self-control, all right? Um, when you finish with your toys, you put them away. That's self-control, right? Because where do your toys belong? Do they belong in the middle of the floor? No, when we're done with them, we should put them away. So if you do that by yourself without being told, that is self-control. Another example of self-control is maybe you're tempted to poke your little brother or sister or pick at them and try to make them angry, but you know if you do, you're going to get in trouble. So instead of poking them and trying to make them mad, you keep your hands and feet to yourself. That is self-control. Another example of self-control is maybe you're doing your schoolwork uh, and instead of Instead of having your uh, electronics devices around or having the TV on, you turn off all of those distractions and you focus on the job you're supposed to be doing, which is your schoolwork. And right now we're all having to do our schoolwork from home, so you need a lot of self-control to block out those distractions. Another example of self-control is maybe somebody tries to make you angry, but instead of yelling at them and losing your temper, you count to 10 and you catch your breath and you just walk away instead of yelling at them. Another example of self-control is maybe mom and dad tell you no. And so you, you could get mad and pitch a temper tantrum and get in more trouble. Or you could just say, okay, and go on about your business and find something else to do. So anytime mom or dad tell you to do anything, if you do it without being told more than once, that is self-control. So we're going to bow and finish out our class today. So show me your ready stance. Come to attention and bow. Back. Ready stance. Give yourself two claps. All right, Tiny Tigers, our three, four, five, and six-year-olds, you guys are dismissed.